I like how the tower's swaying. Isn't that, like, kind of dangerous? The other's HM lights even pitch black darkness. So apparently he's giving me flash. Well, isn't that just awesome? Although, I believe I already mentioned that you did get flash of this place, but whatever. Flash is not that honestly useful in this game. In fact, it's never required even once to beat the game. Not once is it required to beat the game. Is it required for optional stuff? Well, technically not even. Because as long as you know the area in the dark, you can get through it. I wouldn't recommend it because it's no fun playing in the dark. But, whatever. I might go and do some optional stuff. Just go around, play some of that optional crap. But, I don't know. Bob Man got some 40, 54 HP. He's now level 8. He has a lot of attack and speed. Holy shit. He just got a lot of special defense. defense. But, of course... Of course, of course, of course, of course. No poison sting. Is my head that is bright? Was that a bald joke? I don't know. Let me see. Uh, attack wise. Oh, that's the egg. Oh, wow, he actually has the low. Well, I guess notice will be slow. So, because he is only level 8. So, the way it seems. Wow, Bob Man's not doing bad. He's going to get pretty good statage, and I think he's going to surpass Paul in almost everything except for uh, speed. And once he evolves, he'll probably surpass Bob Man in that too. Or uh, Paul in that too. Let me see how much you trust your Pokemon. However, I do see uh, Paul winning a fight compared to Bob Man. I, I do see that if they were to fight. I mean, all. Bob Man has going for him is rap right now. Oh yeah, shit, forgot. No moves. Well, back to Balker and start embering shit again. Oh man, this place is just so easy to beat. I must say. Ember. Yeah, he's done. One hitter quitter. That's 63 HP for Bob Man, 63 for Barker, and uh, there's actually a Hoot Hoot. Right, that is the only other Pokemon you will see the trainers use here. And get used to it, because only two of them use a Hoot Hoot. Not sure why they use a Hoot Hoot, and ironically enough, that's the main leader's best Pokemon. So you have the Bellsprout Tower. Wouldn't it make sense to make a Bellsprout the main Pokemon? And just have everyone else use Hoot Hoots? Wouldn't that make more sense? I don't know. Unfortunately, this guy has good special defense, so Ember's not going to do a whole lot. Growl. I love it when Hoot Hoot uses Growl, because it like kind of slows down. That sounds kind of funny. Ow. How can that thing tackle me? It only has one leg. Uh, I guess I shouldn't say that. It's kind of mean to people who are without legs. The guy on Tosh.0. Why do I don't keep referencing that show? I don't even watch it that much. I just only watch it occasionally. Like, whenever it's on, I'll just be like, oh, hey, it's on. That's cool. What the hell was that noise? You are indeed skilled as a trainer. As promised, here's your HM. But let me say this, you should treat your Pokemon better. The way you battle is far too harsh. Pokemon are not tools of war. Humph. <laughs> he claims to be the Elder, but he's weak. Stands to reason. I'd never lose the fools who babble and all use fucking bell sprouts. Dude, this guy, he knows exactly what I'm talking about. About being nice to Pokemon. Exactly! That's why I still have mine on a leash. I only care about strong Pokemon that can win. This guy, he should be in some tournaments. I have to say, he's awesome. I really couldn't care less about weak Pokemon. You, man, you are smart. Carl used the escape rope. Oh my god, he's badass. He used the fucking escape rope. Oh cool, escape rope. Now I can be badass just like him, right guys? Well, apparently I gotta beat this elder first. It's a powerful painting of a bell sprout. How is it a powerful painting? How can a painting be powerful? Why are there so many P's? 
Would you like to save the game? There's already a save file. Would you like to overwrite? Saving. Don't turn off the power. Or save the game. Well then, so good of you to come. Sprout Tower is a place of training. People in Pokemon test their bonds to build a bright future. I am the final test. Allow me to check the ties between your Pokemon and you. And he doesn't even get any special battle music. He just gets the basic shit. So, nothing interesting. And he folds over his hands in between his arms. And he actually has some okay-ish Pokemon. He'll come out with a level 7 Bell Sprout. And then another level 7 Bell Sprout. And then a level 10 Hoot Hoot. He is not too difficult to beat, I will say, but you know, he can at least pose some kind of threat to your Pokemon. So, be kind of careful about that. The funny thing is, I actually think he's better than the gym leader. Well, kinda. I actually think he rivals the gym leader. I mean, his Bellsprout certainly wouldn't help in a fight against him, but at least the Hoot Hoot's level 10, which is a higher level than the freaking Pidgeotto. Do you know this game is the only game where the first gym leader doesn't have a Pokemon above level 10? How sad is that? In all other games, the Pokemon's always above level 10. I think. I think. Ever since 4. I can't remember about 5. I don't remember if he has, actually, uh, Pokemon that are underneath level 10. I'm pretty sure he doesn't. I always hated the first gym leader in 5th gen, like, in black, when I played Pokemon Black. Not because they always use Pokemon that were strong against me, but because those freaking monkeys are too powerful early the game. Later on, they suck ass, but in the beginning, they come with annoying ass moves and type advantaging. That's no fun. I'm pretty sure my uh, Snakey will learn uh, Poison Sting here, however, which will be a pretty good deal, I must admit. And as long as I keep burning this Hoot Hoot, and he just keeps using stupid moves such as Tackle, his Hoot Hoot is now dead. Bye! Bob Man grew to level 9. There we go! Of course you'll learn it on the last fucking Pokemon in the dungeon, you asshole! Oi! Well, at least you can fight... Shit, I hit the B button. Son of a... You know what? Bob Man, ugh, just, just go and kill him with your Poison Sting. I think the ironic thing is Poison Sting has like 35 freaking uses. Think that's enough? Ugh. At least he can do something. It can't poison him because he's part poison type, but I can constantly just send poison needles into him. At least has a decent critical hit chance. Oh well. Remember in the anime how when they use moves, sometimes the moves would look so totally different than what they actually look in-game? Like for instance, Poison Sting. I like in this game how it just sends one little insignificant needle. However, always in the anime, it just sent like 50 trillion needles. Out of his friggin' face and tail. Well, not 50 trillion. I don't know how many it said. It, it said at least a decent hundred needles, at least. You and your Pokemon should have no problem using this move. Take this flash at you. However, we will probably have a problem using this move, because I only think Barker can learn it, and there's no way in hell I'm teaching anything that's not an HM Slave Flash. Flash illuminates even the darkest of all places, but to use it out of battle, you need the badge from Violet's Gym. Gotcha! Well then, it's time to be a cool guy like Carl, and use that escape rope. I should have made my rival one of the you- another YouTube user, that would have been cool. Like, I should have made Lamp Luigi. <laughs> Except I don't want to make any of those guys seem like an asshole, because that's what Carl kind of plays off as. Oh well. So I just call him Carl, I guess, so as not to offend anybody. Save the game, and... Well, we're pretty much ready to start heading down, aren't we? You got Bob Man, Paul, and Balker. Bob Man and Paul are definitely going to need some extra experience because Balker's level 13 right now. But let's get everyone up and trained. Before I handle the next gym, I want to make sure everyone's at least level 15. So, fruit bearing tree, there's nothing here because I already checked it, I believe. And let's go see. 
That guy over there, by the way, he just gives you a roar TM, I believe. And, uh, yeah, no specific use about him. I mean, nothing special. You just cut down a tree and get a roar TM. Hey, Bob, man, look, it's one of your own kind. Bye. Alright, let's just keep going and fight that guy down there. Let's see if I can run into a hop hip. That would really help, actually. Awesome, there's one right there. If I can poison this sucker and just start poison stinging the crap out of him, this guy should go down really easily. And I'll get a lot of experience for doing so. And that was a really good super... Aw, oh, you bastard. What a little shit, bitch. I'm gonna kill you. And there's the poison I was hoping for. And a Tail Whip. That's really gonna help, considering you have no moves to attack. He has Splash, Synthesis, and Tail Whip. What an awesome moveset. Nice job, Bob, man. 63 experience, like I told you. I haven't seen you around before. So you think you're pretty tough? Well, I've been around the bush a couple times. Let's see what you got. Oh, great. It's this sprite again. Alrighty then. Here comes Ratata. Ratata ta 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 ta. Let's kill him. Uh, Poison Sing should be good enough. You will notice Bob Man has a shitload of attack power, pretty much making him very, very useful. I need someone with a lot of HP though. I just realized, like, all my Pokemon so far have slightly below average HP. I can kinda tell because by level 5, generally your Pokemon should have about 20 HP to be average level, like, HP-wise. That's why I usually look for. Because that means starting with level 10 HP at level 1, they would have gotten, like, 4 level ups and got 20 HP. However, Bob Man here will not have 10, 30 HP at level 10. That's normally what I look for. So that definitely means Bob Man has below average HP. And why the hell did I use Poison Sting against the Zubat? Oy. You're supposed to wrap the bat. Like so. Probably should have leered first. However, I'm sure it's fine. Leech Life, that's not going to do anything. Because I'm part poison, bitch. However, that healed him back, and that's going to get very annoying if he keeps healing back the rap. So I'm just going to continue leering him until I say so. And I really hope this guy does not supersonic me, because that's very deadly against someone like Bob Man, who has a lot of attack and not a lot of defense. Very deadly indeed. And uh, I'll wrap, or leer him one extra time, I guess. And then I'll start with the... Aw, oh, shit, bitch. Oh, boy, that's gonna get annoying. Here's hoping it doesn't screw me over. Sometimes it does, and sometimes it just likes to be a shit bitch and screw you over from hell to high heaven. And there it goes. Look how much damage that did. That's what I'm saying. The Pokemon like Bob Man, you really don't want to get hit by confusion. It just becomes a total pain in the ass if you're hit by confusion. Oh well. Dude, it did like 11 damage. My god. Alright, Bob Man, wrap him. God damn it. Oh well. This is going to get very annoying very quickly. Just continue rapping. Don't get confused, Bob Man. Oh, Bob Man. You are going to be a pain to train. I can tell that right now. Can't even handle a Zubat. That's just been freaking fantastic. Oh well. It'll be fun training this guy. Once he gets on later in the game, he'll get friggin' awesome. Because we'll get, like... Actually, yeah, I can probably teach him Sludge Bomb. I don't know if I can teach him Sludge Bomb. I know where to get... Son of a bitch! Bob, man! You've been hit by Super Sonic four times in a row! Four times in a row, man! Oi! Thank you! He's probably going to use Super Sonic immediately. Immediately. Watch here. Right now, he's going to use Super Sonic. No, actually use it to leech life. That's what it would have happened in Generation 1. I know that for a fact. He would have used it. 
but uh, I guess the game decided that the enemy should not be able to predict your movements again. Oh my. Lanta! Just kill him! Son of a bitch! Ekans, Bob Man, whatever your name is. Kill him! Or faint him, whatever you want to say and be politically correct by the Pokemon universe. How the hell are you getting critical hits? And I can't get past four Supersonics! Uh, or four Confusion turns, whatever. This battle, I have to say, was quite fun. I must admit, who else liked this battle? Raise your hand. I see you out back there raising your hands. Uh, all right. Zubat is down, and he's not even going to give that much experience, is he? Well, he gave kind of good experience. Okay, we're done. You're strong. Oh, fuck you, kid. Fuck you. All right. Let's rush up to the Pokemon Center and go buy some more potions. Why not? Lots of Pokemon merchandise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Potion. Let's buy five of these bad boys. Won't be needing potions for too much longer. I'm going to need to transfer to Super Potions probably sometime after the second gym. Because everyone is going to start evolving very soon. Or soon-ish. I know Ekans evolves pretty early. So does Paul. He evolves around 25, I think. And, uh... Actually, to spoil things, Barker is going to evolve in one extra level. <laughs> so, yeah. Look forward to that, I guess. Na, 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 save. Alrighty then. Let's see. Bob Man, Ball, and Barker. Let's go. Over here, I believe there is a Pokeball and a Hop Bip. Let's just poison sting him and speed this up. A repel and let's go talk to this chick. Uh huh. Yeah. And you know, pardon? Battle? I'm on the phone. Oh, all right, but make it fast. What a biatch! This is last or picnic or Liz? Not not last. All right, what's wrong with your sprite? Well, there's no blue for once. Your socks are really freaking high, so apparently you're in, like, Girl Scout uniform. You got, like, the circle above your head, uh, your regular ball, pocket, I believe it should be. There's, like, a green sprite weirdness in your hand, like, a little bit of whiteness, uh, I don't know. A little weird, but, uh, not that bad. Just green, black, and white generally seems to be the colors of your character. And here's Nidoran Female. Well, time to take care of this thing. Unfortunately, yet again, we got another poison type here. So, we're pretty much going to have to, again, rely on rap. Isn't that fantastic? Also, this thing has a lot of defense, so isn't that even better? Oh, great. Let's just take care of him. As he constantly growls, or she constantly growls. There should be no emphasis on boys, since neither her nor the Pokemon is a boy. However, Bob Man and the rest of the other Pokemon in my party are boys. And look, that only did that much damage with three leers. That's what I mean when I say Nidoran Female has a lot of defense. This thing is a pain in the ass. Oh, brilliant. Another Pokemon is a pain in the ass. I already have to deal with, like, three of them daily. And by that, I mean Bob Man, Zubat, and friggin' Bellsprouts. I've already had to deal with three of those guys, so... I don't know. Bob Man definitely is not the new Fappy, however. It is not certainly that bad. Not by a long shot. However, I will say, Bob Man's able to hold his own, and he will uh, be a generally good Pokemon. However, it will take a while of training your Ekans up to become... A good Ekans. Oh boy. But it looks like he's going to be the butt of my jokes for quite a little bit longer now. Kind of unfortunate, but uh, Bob Man, you are going to be the butt of my jokes. Enjoy. Alright, I don't want to risk anything, so I'm going to use another potion because God forbid I lose after going this far in the battle. 
So, let's just switch the potions up there. Use the potion now. And rap should hurt him enough so I can deal with him. Another rap now. Oh, growl. You bastard. Maybe that's why the five raps wasn't doing enough damage. It's because he's been growling intermittently the whole time. Oh, okay. I should be able to handle him with one more rap. That's just awesome. Oh, please, son of a bitch! I don't like you, Lisa, or Liz. Bitch. Just wrap him. Make sure you wrap it before you tap it. <laughs> Bye! Okay. Good job, Bob Man. Oh, I've got to relieve my anger. You can get her phone number, however, I highly don't recommend it because she just annoyingly calls you with the stupid...